I have fished Lake Buffalo so many times on this channel, but I've never once just sat on the bait and drowned some worms. Hey, you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. All right, folks, now this uh, fishing at Lake Buffalo business is nothing new on this channel, but this particular style is I'm just angling two rods and a couple of Janjuck worms on each one. This one's got a running sinker rig. And I am going to cast that out there. Now, before I came here, the plan was always to come up here. I was going to sit under that steep hill over there out of the wind, but there's actually somebody in that spot. So I've come over here in the wind. So it's going to be tricky. But the plan was to go over there. And I thought, well, before I start, I'll go and have a bit of a fish off the boat ramp and uh, just see if I can catch a fish on a soft plastic. And I had one of the best redfin sessions that I've ever had. Definitely the best redfin fishing session that I've ever had off the bank in a lake. So I've got a few fish to gut. Put these lines in now. This is a Pat Noster rig. One running sinker rig, one Pat Noster rig. I'll go and gut the redfin that I just caught off the boat rack in that unbelievable session that I just had. And then I'm just going to see if I can catch some fish off the bank. Just had a bite on the running sinker. My first niblio. Yeah, look, that's a bite, that's a bite, that's a bite. Something's biting my worms here. Just had a couple of goes. It's back. Give me some bites on the... Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, he's still there. Missed him. Just I thought he'd be on there. Then he was biting pretty well. And I'll get it straight back out. There's not a second to lose. There's not many worms left on there, but I'm actually halfway through eating an orange. So I'll put that out there while I finish my orange, and then I'll reel it in and uh, put a fresh wormy on. Now I'll return to my orange. Sit here for ages, doing nothing, don't get a nibble. As soon as I grab an orange, now I'm getting a bite on that rod. Every time I go to eat something, oh, the Pat Noster rig's sitting on a good old Yankee. Come on. Just getting a nibble here on the Pat Noster rig. Here he goes. Did I get it? <laughs> nah. Looks like I'm striking so hard I'm going to pull its head off, but that's only because there's a lot of slack in the line. I've got to take all that slack up. I thought I would have hooked it that time. Actually, that was quite a good bite. Well, yeah, the sun's just breaking through while I sit here waiting for a nibble. Break on through to the other side. Break, here it goes. Come on. Break on through to the other side. Getting a nibble, getting a nibble. Come on, he wants it. I'm going to hold it. Moving the slack a bit. There he goes. Come on. Some's playing with it. Give it a decent bite, mate. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, I've had quite a few nibbles. Whatever this is, is quite heavy. Either I've fair hooked something or I've uh it's wrapped up in a bit of what the hell have I got here? I might have a cod on here, have I? If it's a redfin, it's a good one. <laughs> Unless it's a big trout. There are the odd, there's the odd trout on here. They stock it pretty heavily with trout. It's a... I think it's a cod. It's a Macquarie perch. I didn't even know they were in here. Have a look at this Macquarie perch. I'm just going to leave that sitting there and hope it doesn't get off because I want to go and get my phone and get a really cool photo of this. This is the biggest mackerel I've caught for years. Wow! I'll wet my hand. Now for those that don't know what a Macquarie perch is, I'll show you right now. A Macquarie perch is a perch a bit like a golden perch, which is a yellow belly, or an English perch, which is a red fin. Now I'm just trying to get this hook out of here as gently as I can. The thing about the Macquarie perch, I'll talk while I'm unhooking him. The thing about the Macquarie perch is that they were almost extinct a few years ago. They are so critically endangered, but they're coming back. There we go, I've got that hook out. And that is a very good specimen of a Macquarie perch. I'm going to get a, a photo of it laying against my rod because that is totally unexpected. Just when I thought the day couldn't get any better after my epic redfin haul, this came along. Look at the size of that macca! Right, 
right, the Macquarie perch is 35 centimeters. That is a very big Macquarie perch. Let's get it back. That is an absolute ripper of a Macquarie perch. Let's see if we can get some release footage. Oh, I hope I got the release on camera. That, I am so excited. I got here earlier. I went over there to the boat ramp. I caught some, uh, had some probably the best redfin fishing I've ever had in a lake off the bank, that's for sure. I come over here. I've been sitting here for nearly an hour. I've had a couple of nibbles that haven't hooked up. And then bloody ripper and Macquarie patch. Right now, I'll put my Pat Noster rig back in with a couple more. Janjak worms on it. I apologise if the audio isn't great in this video. I didn't bring a lav mic with me and it's uh it's quite windy and the audio gets a bit jumpy with this camera when it's windy. But the old Macquarie perch, I am just totally surprised. That's the last thing I expected to catch. I'm not I'm not completely surprised because I know they're in the river upstream, but I've never caught one here. All the fishing I've done here with bait in my dad's boat, with lures in my kayak and dad's boat and off the bank and my old boat years ago. I've never actually seen a Macquarie perch in the lake. I do know of someone that done it once before that caught one. I know this has recently been stocked with silver perch, and I would have been expecting to catch a tiny weeny silver perch five or six centimetres long before a Macquarie perch. Just another big bite on the worms. Missed it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's only a little one. It must be a little red fin. This was a big bite for a small fish. <laughs> A little red fin. Ow. Little red fin with a bit of a kink in his tail. Red fin often get that. Strange looking things. Anyway, little red fin. See you later, mate. I might check me worms and uh, it feels like I've got a fish on the end of it. <laughs> I thought I might just go and check me worms. Look at that, he swallowed the hook too. Well, being that he's a red fin and he swallowed the hook, the sun's set and I'm running out of light. I'm running out of fishing time. If I can't get it out, I'm going to uh, euthanize him. But I've got it out, but I don't know how he's going to go swimming off. I'll give it a crack. See you later, mate. Had a bite on that line about 10 minutes ago and it didn't hook up, so I thought I might just go and check me bait and put some fresh worms on it. I'm going to do it on both rods. I'll put the fresh worms on both rods. Well, I know I would have caught more fish if I'd stayed on the boat ramp over there casting lures, but it's not about catching the most fish. I've loved every second of this session. A couple of hours sitting in my collapsible chair, watching my rods, waiting for a nibble, and then that unexpected surprise of a beautiful 35 centimetre Macquarie perch. I couldn't be happier.